from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we have got a bottle of Black Mamba Hoppy English Stout, 4.3% ABV from a brand new brewery for me called Brasserie St Helena in Belgium. 4.3% ABV English. That's <laughs> Hoppy Stout apparently, but it's hopped with Simcoe and Citra. <laughs> I'm slightly confused by that. Um, anyway, I picked this up recently when I were in Belgium. I've got to admit, the labelling really appealed to me. It's got that kind of Pam Grier style, kind of Foxy Brown type of character going on there. Yeah, in 4.3%, the, the branding's really kind of fresh and different for, for a Belgian brewery. And a hoppy stout, I thought, well, that's, that sounds alright, that sounds alright. So I picked this up at Hot Duval in Ghent. So the beer in the glass. I'd say more dark brown, not much like getting through that whatsoever. Yeah, I would say black, more dark brown, the head, like a mid, kind of like darkish tan actually. Nice, thick, kind of marshmallow head. Consistency of the inside of a walnut whip. <laughs> anyway, let's check out the aroma. Um, very, very, very minerally, and that's pretty much all I'm getting. Kind of, it's like wet stone, slightly like a, the used used bucket when you've been. I don't know why this came to my mind, but when you've been going fishing when you're a little kid with your little net for um, sticklebacks, no, not much hope, not much grain, or maybe a faint grain quality, but not much hope. Not the best aroma in the world ever. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Hopefully it tastes better than it smells. Hmm. Um, what a strange beer. Not completely unpleasant, but not much hot flavor, not much hot flavor, not much roasted malt flavor. A kind of like a a burnt bark, tobacco kind of thing coming through. Fizzy, thin as a thin as you like. We have vegetal thing going on. The kind of the, the flavour and bitterness of the dark malt comes through the back end. But watery. It's like, it reminds me in a lot of ways of, um, yeah, it's got that hot tea kind of thing going on, but in a bad way, like you do with Nanny State. It's got a bit of, it, it's got a bit of a quality that tastes of a British mild, more at the back end, but then that kind of like slightly insipid, watery, mineral character that you get, something like Nanny State, which is just not very pleasant. Where's the dark malt in it? This is mental. Right, okay. Let's boil this down to the essentials. There's hops in there apparently. Can't taste them. It's just watery. There's dark malts in there. Can't taste them. It's just a slight kind of as a wet tobacco kind of thing going on. It's not a, it's not a stout. You're not making right. I'm talking directly to you. Hope you see this. You've not made a stout. You've not made a stout of any description. You put a load of American hops in it. Well, you put a, maybe like two pound of hops in this big this full brew. You can barely taste anything. It's dark. You put you put a good amount of like I don't know, kind of like black malt carafe or something like that, which is not extracting any flavour at all. The, the grain bill is clearly poor. The hopping is terrible. It's a complete mess. What a load of shite. For all you um, viewers out there who say I don't review beers that I don't like, here's one. This is an absolute stinker. And I've got a 750 of it. I'm going to uh, I'm going to drink it, but I mean it's it's just a It's like a it's like a you've soaked a, a like a flannel in um, some stale old beer. A mess. What a letdown. Nope, you can't win them all. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com with a terrible beer. I'll see you next time, I guess. Cheers.